previously on Road Trip Across Country. Rated hard. Yes, it is. Ah, oh, just stopped here for just a second. Let me see if I can turn around and show you. Yeah. Headed back into rain. And it is cold. <laughs> After leaving Kalgoorlie, I turned a bit south, headed for Norseman and then Baladonia, Western Australia. The day had started ominous and did not take long to live up to the promise of the darkening skies. With the vast openness and sparse population of some areas of Australia, one of the primary modes of transporting goods is with road trains. These are basically tractor trailers with two to as many as four trailers attached. And with the cold rain coming down, it made for an interesting 190 kilometer run into Norseman. And just as I was feeling completely frozen, I finally made my way into Norseman. Hey guys, it is day two. Uh, I, I left Kalgoorlie this morning. I am in Norseman, just stopped to put some fuel in Scarlet. It has been pouring rain. Left Kalgoorlie, it was beautiful. Got a little, but pretty much from just the outside of there to just the outside of Norseman, it has rained and it is so cold here when it rains. So upper 40s, like running at about eight, nine degrees and wet. It's been cold, but oh my gosh, this gear has been amazing. But I'm gonna just see if I can't find a little place to hike. Today's kind of a short ride day. Uh, I like to see if there's something I can find before I land in Baladonia, which is a uber small little spot in the road, but that's where I'm staying for the night. Norseman lies on the eastern edge of Western Australia's gold fields. It was discovered and established in 1894 as a mining town, but did not start its production as part of the gold fields until 1935. It is one of the smaller towns in Western Australia with only a population of about 1,100. And just like Kalgoorlie, though the production of gold has ebbed and flowed over the years, the mine remains in service to today. There are many things to see and do around Norseman, from public art displays to the natural wonders that surround the area. It was here that I started to understand that though Scarlet is amazing for traveling long distances, she was not made for dirt or mud. <laughs> there are several places in this area that I simply could not see because of the dirt roads required to access the locations. As you leave Norseman, you find yourself at the start of the Iyer Highway and the western gateway into the Nullarbor. The Nullarbor Plain is a huge limestone plateau that runs about 1,100 kilometers, roughly 683 miles, along the southern coast of Australia, straddling both Western Australia and South Australia.
the longest stretch of the Iyer Highway, a two-lane highway that runs for almost 1,700 kilometers, is the stretch that runs from Norseman to Baladonia Roadhouse. The highway was named after John Iyer, the first European to cross the Nellabore Plain in 1841. It would take roughly 100 years before the official start of construction for this highway would ever begin. It was along this stretch of highway that I began to understand a whole new meaning of what a small town really is. Many of the towns that dot the Iron Highway are basically just a roadhouse. These small communities consist of a servo, a pub with limited hours, a hotel with plus or minus 20 rooms, and an RV or caravan park. And that's about it. And that is exactly what I found as I made my way into Palladonia. I had been surprised up until this point at how few motorcycles I had seen on the trip. But it seems that many of us just simply arrived at the same place all at once. With such long stretches of road between roadhouses, one quickly learns to not only fuel up whenever you can, but to also take advantage of connecting with each other during these breaks. For you never know when you will need a little help or maybe just a little company to share the next stretch of road. Baladonia's biggest claim to fame is that in 1979, a significant portion of Skylab, the U.S.'s first space station, landed after breaking up upon re-entry of the Earth's atmosphere. You can learn more about this and many other cool things that have occurred in this remote part of Western Australia by visiting the small museum that is within the Roadhouse. Since leaving Kalgoorlie, I had noticed signs along the road for the Nullarbor Lynx. Turns out this is the world's longest 18-hole golf course, spanning 1,365 kilometers. That's 848 miles along the Iyer Highway. Each hole is located at a participating town or roadhouse, <laughs> and it all started right here in Baladonia when over a bottle of wine, two friends decided that they wanted to encourage travelers to stop in these small roadhouses, spend their money, and avoid driver fatigue, which is a real thing along this route. Since both were avid golfers, the course idea was born. Since its opening in 2009, more than 20,000 people have played along this course that takes you a roughly three to four days to play through. Though today was a short ride day at only 408 kilometers, after riding in the cold and rain for two days, I was happy to call it a night. After settling in, I downloaded my footage, jotted down my thoughts before finding dinner and sleep. And it was a good thing that I did, for I was fully headed into the Nullarbor the next day and had only begun to understand it would take me a further two days to cross it. 